really dictated the game and uh, set the tone for them. Uh, you know, defensively, it's a pretty good job initially, but anytime you get a team, I think with 22 extra possessions, I mean, you know, a team like that, defensively, pretty good offensively, you know, you really don't put yourself uh, behind the eight ball, but we just let one guy really set the tone as far as them getting offensive rebounds, and that's pretty much the reason why You guys think you guys are improving better with like defending the three point? Uh, I, I'm just trying to prove it better. Period. You know, I don't think we're trying to just <clears throat> get better with just three point, you know, percentage as far as our opponents. Uh, we're trying to get better on all aspects of uh, defensively, offensively, intangibles, transitions, and turnovers, and things of that nature. So, um, you know, we had a, a tough stretch where teams were really killing us from the three point line. Um, I don't think that's have been the problem of late, but uh, for us, it's about collectively, you know, trying to improve on all aspects of what we need to do defensively and offensively as well. Do you think it's been like a lack of communication, like with them, like out rebounding you guys a lot? Or? With with rebounding? Uh, I'm sorry. Just oh, defense sorry. in general. I don't think it's a lack of communication. You know, sometimes it's you know teams are all working us. Um, you know. Communication does, you know, play a, a major part into us not being successful on the defensive end as well. But um, you know, we got injuries that are taking place. We got a lot of young guys who, as far as communicating and getting in the right positions, not quite on one accord with that. But uh, saying that, you know, we still have to uh, find a way to get it done, no matter who's out there on the court. But you know, whether it's communication or just effort. Just playing smart, uh, whatever it is, uh, and whatever it takes to not be successful, we pretty much have done that throughout the season. It was about a year ago to the day that you showed up in Cleveland. Um, can you talk a little bit about what this time of year can wear on guys mentally, with you know names being put in line items of trade rumors and you know just things of that nature? Well, I think for me it's differently because I've been doing this for what 13 years, and it seemed like. I wouldn't say with the exception of my first three or four years in the league, you know, my name has been thrown in now. So <clears throat> it's just like eating dinner and breakfast for me. I mean, I'm used to it. Uh, if my name is not in trade rumors, then I think something actually is going to happen. But um, I think it might be different for some of these other guys who haven't experienced that yet. And you know, I just try to tell them, I mean, until you hear something from, you know, people here in the front office or your agent, you know, it's pretty much what it is, just rumors. So just – Continue to go out there and perform like you have been, and uh, you know that stuff will take care of itself. But you know it's just one of those things as far as a, of the business. You know it's what normally happens, and um, you know you just gotta go out there and just play basketball.